asexualized.com and author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. Welcome to day 20 of Asexual Perspectives month. Don't forget to use hashtag APAM in your tweets. Sexual behaviour is not the same as sexual attraction. And this is something I really could not wrap my head around for a very long time. And then when um, I saw a comment uh, from someone on YouTube and I saw a video, I was trying to understand it more and more. And since being in groups, I then began to realise the difference. And I then began to realise that I actually exhibit some sexual behaviour, but I don't experience sexual attraction. And I actually have high levels of arousal, yet don't experience sexual attraction. And this is really difficult. And it's kind of weird because I didn't understand that sexual behaviour and sexual attraction are two separate things. I automatically thought, well, if you're asexual, you can't possibly have sexual behaviour. Not even realising that I can also have sexual behaviour myself. And that's kind of crazy, isn't it? That you don't think something can be something that you actually are and do yourself it's kind of crazy anyway um i've known about it for a little while now quite some time probably over a year that sexual behavior is not the same as sexual attraction and um it made a lot of sense to me in the end because i began through my asexual journey to notice things about myself and thought yeah if i saw someone else doing that I might not think they're asexual, but I know I am and I know I don't experience sexual attraction. So I really get where people are coming from for this. Um, so yeah, so talking about sexual behaviour, sexual attraction. Um, there's someone in my book that explains this really well. Um, I mentioned them on another video. Their name is Jeeks Vanderpol. And... And this is what they have to say. Um, in relation to this question, can you tell me about a time when you've had to deal with intrusive questions or a difficult situation due to your asexuality and what happened? A friend of mine told me she could not believe asexuality exists. After all, if there are asexuals who masturbate, they are per definition not asexual, but sexual. I explain that asexuality is a lack of sexual attraction more than about sexual behaviour. I think that's really important. You know, it's a really, really important thing. And then they go on to say, for example, there are children who masturbate just because it feels good without having feelings of sexual attraction tied to that behaviour. And then explaining this stuff really helps. In Isadora's story, she talks about masturbation. Um, when I ask each asexual what they think of nudity, porn, masturbation and BDSM and kinks, this is what she answers for masturbation. Masturbation is just a normal, healthy thing. I do it, just not as much as other people, I guess. I wish it didn't still have so much stigma attached to it. Because it doesn't hurt anyone and can even be good for you. There's also a person in the book that I really related to so much. They explain that their asexuality or their sexuality consists of dancing and kissing and that's it. And that when they're on the dance floor they throw their sexuality out into the world. And of course every person that is highly sexual gets attracted to them but then when it comes to the bedroom they flatline to quote their phrase in other words they just can't have sex and that's because they don't experience sexual attraction but when they're exhibiting all this sexy dancing behavior on the dance floor people automatically assume that they are sexual and not asexual so this is how it can become confusing and I also say a similar thing in the back of the book. I mean, I really related to this person because I thought they sounded like me. Because really, that's pretty much what my sexuality or asexuality consists of. 
you know, I love dancing. I love sexy dancing as well, you know, with foreign guys. And I also uh, love kissing. I love passionate French kissing, you know. And one of the way I kiss is very sexual in behaviour for a lot of asexuals. And um, I like to keep my clothes on, which isn't very sexual in terms of most sexuals want to get naked. But the way I like to kiss, I mean, I like to be on top of a guy or a guy be on top of me. I like to be as close as possible with legs intertwined with clothes on. And pretty much my body response is the same as it would be. Almost as if I was actually having sex itself. So I still experience the noises of the breath. I still experience body movements and all that. Do you know what I mean? So that's really looking like sexual behaviour but I'm not sexually attracted to the person I never in my head think I want sex with you it just doesn't enter my head and I don't want the actual intercourse I just don't you know I love the dopamine hit I guess of the kissing I love the passionate kissing so much I adore it it's like an activity to me that I really thoroughly enjoy in a good relationship so you see, my behaviour as well, I mean, I explain in my book that literally I was with a sexual guy on a date before I realised it was asexual. And the way I was behaving was very sexual in behaviour. And I explained that the DJ's eyes were literally popping out of their heads. They couldn't believe it. But you see, I like to shock people a little bit sometimes. I like to be unconventional. You know, when I was younger, uh, in like a kid form, in physical kid form, um, I, you know, I got fed up of being put into a box. So I kind of like to surprise people. And people don't expect me to behave like that. But that behaviour, for me, doesn't translate into the bedroom in terms of intercourse. I just don't want it. And that's very frustrating for sexual guys. Because, you know, if they've been like that with me, they ultimately think they're going to get sex and they're not. And it's not because I'm teasing them into having sex it's not because I want sex it's just because I am the way I am I like to express myself and be free and I really need an asexual guy partner who's got similar grey A areas to me because it's no good being, being with a heterosexual because they need sex like in five minutes with me it's ridiculous and I just love to kissing I mean literally to passionately kiss an asexual guy for the rest of my life who's loving kind, caring, foreign and I adore, but never having the sex is just going to be bliss for me. But you see, that that is not what you would necessarily think an asexual to do. Would you would think an asexual whose absence of sexual attraction doesn't behave sexually either? Because as an outsider, that's what I would think, and that's what I actually did think in the beginning of my asexual journey. Even I, who am asexual, thought that. And then I realised that, oh, some of the things I do could be classed as sexual behaviour because I, I never thought about it like that. I never thought, oh, I have sexual behaviour. It just didn't occur to me. So there you go. This is how um, also it can be confusing for sexuals. Um, if you're an asexual, it's a bit sexual behaviour but not experience sexual attraction. I mean, I thought with the high levels of arousal, that was sexual attraction years ago. I didn't realise it was just arousal. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What are your views on this? Please leave the comments below. Share this video with a friend. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Keep embracing your quirky and each other's. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.